Hello, this is Ioli from AutoID Lab Japan. In this video, I talk a little bit about multicode and then show our emulator demo. Let's start with the background. There are three major types of RFID standards in general. Each of them is used in different industries or by different vendors. Among these, JS1 and ISO are the two international standards. In addition, there are also other IDs in proprietary coding scheme. When we need to handle all these kinds of RFIDs at the same time, we call it a multi-code environment. This is a breakdown of standards for both hardware and software. Saying multi-code, it is not about hardware protocols, but the different coding systems, including the series of GS1 and ISO families, Somehow, we need to establish a cooperative mechanism and a reasonable approach for us is to translate them into unified formats like URN. Concretely, in an actual information system, we embed a middleware between service applications and physical RFID readers. The middleware takes firstly tag leads and translate them then finally publish the tag lead events to designate its service applications. When you implement this kind of system, you want to measure the performance scalability or integrity against the RFID tag traffic in the middleware. This is where our um, emulator comes in handy, because we can make the physical part completely virtual so that we can save costs for testing hardware and tags. Let's see how it works. Okay. Um Let's start the emulator. Hundred milliseconds for uh, RFID tag lead events interval. And this emulator has a web interface. So let's go to localhost. And now it is showing a virtual population of RFID tags inside the emulator. And from here, you can click to delete uh, each RFID tag. So each box represents one RFID tag. And you can click to add some random tags for um, each standards. And so it is communicating to emulator with uh, web sockets now. So it is now then I'm going to updating the population inside emulator. And the color which box represents the, uh, the lengths of the IDs inside RFID tag. And for testing purpose, the emulator also has a REST API endpoint. By using this API, um, so let's suppose we have this kind of simple HTTP request script with the, uh, you know, the URL. It is running locally. So this line, uh, like HTTP request with delete, uh, with a this um, JSON file containing a series of RFID tags with metadata in JSON format. So it removes these groups of RFID tags from emulator, and this one will add a, uh, another set of RFIDs to the budget population at a certain time interval. So now it is set to uh, two, two seconds. Let's do each two seconds. Right, and if I um, execute this scenario, then now it is simulating a um, dynamic tag movement in front of uh, virtual RFID leader. So it is adding a set of groups of tag and removing tags in front of the antenna and that kind of use case is simulated. And with this uh, scenario being simulated, let's connect a middleware to this emulator. So um, I have an emulator running at localhost, and let's connect immediately. 
So now it is receiving a stream of RFID tag read events from emulator. So now it is emitting. And let's see, uh, so now it has 36 RFID tags and 60 and 26, 16 again. And from the middleware side, we see a, a number of RFID tags inside this report. So uh, we have IDs and at a certain time later, we should have a different number of RFID tags with IDs. So with this script, we can simulate fairly easily um, um, virtual scenario is the virtual tag population. Now I have a quickly slowed emulator demo, but didn't explain in further detail. The emulator itself it's, is written in Go and the source code is on GitHub, so feel free to contribute to the project and also more information should be found there as well. Uh, thank you for watching.